Starting with less than 500 in 2009, there are now over 19,000 public access charging outlets available to electric vehicle owners at commuter lots, parking garages, airports, retail areas, and thousands of locations where EV owners can conveniently plug in as part of their daily routines. There are thousands more located in private homes, and for the most part, these installations have been relatively easy, presenting few hurdles in terms of the physical space and power requirements for the new equipment. But it's not always quick. Charging an EV through a standard 110 to 120 volt outlet is slow going, adding just two to five miles of range per hour of charging time. Level 2 charging using a 220 to 240 volt circuit adds 10 to 20 miles of range per hour and is the best choice for a homeowner. But Level 2 chargers can require a dedicated circuit of 40 amps or more, which can be a problem in many homes where electrical panels are already maxed out. And what about apartment and condos or city dwellers with on-street parking? Thankfully, American Ingenuity is already at work finding solutions. EVSE LLC, a small company near Hartford, Connecticut, has come up with a clever and inexpensive control panel that piggybacks onto an existing 220-240 volt appliance circuit like a stove or clothes dryer, eliminating the need to upgrade the home's electrical service. The device called PowerShare senses when the dryer or stove is turned on and automatically scales back or completely shuts off power to the vehicle charger and diverts that power to the appliance for as long as needed. The company also produces this ADA compliant charging station with a retractable overhead mounted cord. There's no tangled cables to trip over and it's less prone to vandalism when retracted. For long-term lots and fleet facilities, EVSE offers this portable Level 2 charger. Outlets are installed at each parking space, and the actual charge unit can be moved from car to car as needed. But even when hardware is not an issue, there are still hurdles to overcome. Baltimore City resident John Siegel has been waiting months for permission from the city to install a curbside EV charger for his Tesla Model S. The city told us that we were the first uh, residential homeowner to request a charging outlet in the right of way in city property. And even though they are, as is the state, very pro-electric vehicles, they're trying to create a policy that, that's equitable